Welcome to Lebanon's dating scene, where there are six women for every man. Most of the guys are outside of Lebanon. They don't know how to learn, they don't know how to learn. Yeah, I've been single for almost three years now. And still, it's taboo for women to make the first move. Since Exotica, Lebanon's leading flower shop chain, is all about make a difference, we wanted to make a real difference by trying to help every single woman secure a valentine this year. Why not take your own happiness into your own hands? So, we launched our Make a Move campaign. We anonymously created a blog, ivysays.com, two months before Valentine's. Blogging about single life in Beirut, Ivy became the local Carrie Bradshaw and quickly gathered an enthusiastic following amongst our core target. Three weeks before Valentine's, Exotica billboards and press ads talked to girls who missed their chance on Valentine's 2009, encouraging them to do something about it this year. In parallel, we secretly fed our cause through Ivy's blog. She published her manifesto stating the new rules of the dating game. I have the right to call him first, if I feel I have like the it. right to challenge the six girls to one I guy ratio. I have the right to make the first move. The manifesto was distributed in the streets, turning her cause into that of every single lady. At the height of Ivy's popularity, Exotica officially joined forces with her. Ivy appeared on the billboards and Exotica appeared on the blog. Together, we activated the Make Your Move initiative in the streets. We wanted to empower single ladies with a tool to hook their man. Each girl could tell a guy how she feels about him by offering him a rose with a coded meaning. The meaning of each rose was crowdsourced to our online community, resulting in a flower code of seven different flower messages. During one week, 10,000 roses of different colors were given to single ladies in the trendiest district of town. I'm taking this really seriously. After getting a flower from a girl, the guy could decode his rose on the blog and if successfully hooked, get her a bouquet of Exotica roses to seal the deal on Valentine's. I like it! Coded e-flowers were also sent online. Girls identified so much with our campaign that they started creating and personalizing their own sashes. Amusing adaptations popped up online and even in the streets. Women also started tagging their single lady friends on the campaign images to encourage them to make the first move. Our flower sales increased 21% more than last year's Valentine figures. We were contacted by leading press publications and TV stations, resulting in free PR coverage. <laughs> the campaign was celebrated as the first in the country to engage such a level of conversation around the brand. A social media expert even blogged about the campaign as a successful case study. IvySays.com got an average of 1,200 views a day in a country with only 400,000 high-speed connections, making it the most popular blog during the entire campaign. Engagement was high with 50 comments and 500 Twitter and Facebook mentions per day, the week preceding Valentine's. But most of all, we got countless thanks from recently hooked up couples. Thank you, Ivy. Yeah.